Gruesome Magazine. Hello, once again, I'm your host, Doc Rodden, and this is Gruesome Magazine, where we review the very latest in theatrical and streaming horror movies. Each week, my Gruesome Magazine Grew crew and I will take a look at various spooky, scary, and gory genre offerings. Tonight, we're reviewing Night Shift. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, join me this week. I'm my co host, starting off with the one and only <laughs> Jeff Moore. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. And, and you know, there was a point there where I thought maybe I knew Christopher would be excited because it felt like we were doing Motel Hell. But mm -hmm. no, oh, boy. it is not <laughs> oh, Motel Hell. Night shift that Motel Hell. It actually makes sense. Cool. I'm just wow. kidding. Uh, what? I couldn't resist oh. though. I couldn't resist. Well, uh, okay, but well, well it was motel it was fritter. Hell it, it, it had no motel. Hell, it, it, it was it was fritter free. So this actually had a tone yeah, that went it throughout. Yep. All right. Well, also joining uh, us this week is Crystal <laughs> Cleveland, the Living Dead Girl. How you doing, Crystal? Motel Hell is better than this movie. That's no, that is. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm great. The cruise was great. fun. Yes, yeah. yes, the Groove Cruise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All so right. what are we gonna do so, for eleven years? Uh, 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 uh Vegas plans, plans, plans. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also joining us is award-winning filmmaker Christopher G. G. Moore. How you doing, sir? I do well. I, I may be reviewing the wrong movie because I think mine had actually uh, Henry Winkler oh, no. and <laughs> Michael Keaton in it. So. <laughs> uh, but anyway, doing well. Doing that would, well. That'd be, that'd, be a, that'd be a fun time. That'd be a fun time. Yeah, there's a there's a, a movie from the mm. 1980s that started them called Night Shift yeah. about yeah. them turning a more mm. uh, a a uh, oh yeah prostitution den. <laughs> So that makes sense. Yes. Well, you know, everybody, everybody has their directed by Ron Howard. I think. Yeah. Uh, well, really? Yeah. Wow. All right. That's for oh, Snake. oh yeah. For well, not for him though. Right. Well, maybe. All right. Uh, what we're going to be doing tonight is reviewing Night Chef. We're going to start off giving you our first impressions. Those first impressions mm -hmm. will be a spoiler free. Uh, then we're going to get a discussion about the film. We will reveal a thing or two. There'll be a spoiler. And this movie is got oh, a few. Yeah. It's got. Maybe a major one. We'll get to it. All right. And then we'll wrap things up with our uh, score one to five and our favorite scene. Um, and of course, we hope you enjoy not only this review, but many others that we have on the site. And if you do, please hit the like, subscribe, and share with a friend buttons. Uh, please hit subscribe of all things and uh, help us find more horror fans just like you. Yes. Yay. All right. Let's take a look at the card and get things a rolling. All right, uh, Night Shift 2024 from Quiver uh, Distributors. It is available in theaters and on digital March, 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 8th, March 8th, 2024. The synopsis is, uh, while working her first night shift at a remote hotel, a young woman, Gwen Taylor, begins to suspect that she is being followed by a dangerous character from her past. As the night progresses, Gwen's isolation and safety, however, are made all the more worse when she starts to realize that the motel might also be haunted. It is written and directed by the China Brothers, that is Paul and Ben. And the cast includes Phoebe Tankin, Lamorne Morris, Madison Hugh, Patrick Fischler, Lauren Bowles, and Christopher Denham. Badoom. All right. Let's find out what our first impressions are. And we're going to start off with the one and only Jeff Moore. Jeff, let us have it, sir. I kind of like this. It definitely has a uh, spooky vibe to it right off the bat. And uh, I thought the lead, E.B. Tonkin, did a great job. I kept, uh, for at, at one point, I was like, how long can she maintain this? But she did a great job and and, and carried it you know, amped it up when necessary. She um, <laughs> I, I also like uh, Lamorne Morris, the uh, owner of the all tucked in motel. Uh, we used, my wife and I used to watch new girl and uh, yeah. a regular character on that. So yeah, and I, I thought it was good. Very, very atmospheric. Good, really creep out stuff. And 
I, I mean, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, it looked good. It looked good. And I thought, you know, there was a lot of stuff shot at night. You know, when it, well, the whole thing is at dark. She's on the night shift. So, but, but it was well done. You could see and tell everything that was going on. Yeah. So, absolutely. Absolutely. Crystal Cleveland, what was your first impression of Night Shift? Well, I love Phoebe. She's in the originals, and I love the originals, ah, okay. which is a shoot off of Vampire Diaries, if you're not familiar with that. Not, which, yes. Yeah, figured. But um, ah. she's wonderful in this. <laughs> I don't expect y'all to know. It does like teen love, angsty. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's basically what that stuff is. Still loved it. Um, but um, this movie, hmm. Here's the thing. I didn't hate it. Okay. I thought it was shot well. I think, actually, I think all the actors did a great job. I didn't have a single problem with any of the actors. Uh, in fact, I think some of them did really stellar. Like the guy and his wife coming in, I was like, cheese and rice. That was, <laughs> that was so angry. Um <clears throat> The story is just eh. like I I had I don't know if it's just the screener or if it was the sound mixing, but the screen literally I had to turn my television down when the screams came up and it was super annoying to me. So that really bothered me. Um but I also felt like the story it I feel like they tried to telegraph what was happening you know, to let you know what was happening before you mm -hmm. find out what's happening, but it didn't translate. It didn't work well. So that's unfortunate because I think a few more clues here and there maybe would have made it a little bit more interesting because things never felt quite off. They felt just weird. That's all. And, and then you had all these weird, I, I, I just, I wanted to like it more because I love her, but I just didn't love it. I just, I, I didn't hate it. I actually just thought it was uneventful and loud and a little like, you know, I didn't think that, that the ending hit at all. Oh. I actually liked the very, very end. Okay. But, but yeah, before that I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. Cause no mm -hmm. one else. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you like I, the I can't coda? say anymore. I can't little... say more cause I'm going to get spoilers, but yeah, yeah. you like the little <sighs> coda at the end. Yeah. I did I like, like that. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Fair enough. Christopher G. Moore, sir. What is your first impression of Night Shift? I loved it. I, I oh, thought good. it was well shot. I mean, I mean, if you, Look at it from a sport story perspective. I mean, it's very simplistic. I mean, the movie's very, very short, shorter than a lot of the films. It's like a, it's under what hour, eighteen minutes or something, um, hour twenty. Um, and uh, I thought all the performances were great. It, I think it's definitely very atmospheric. It's shot very well, and I think, I think the, I think. And it's one of those times where it goes it, without giving too much away. It goes in a direction that we've that we all sometimes complain about. But this is one of the few times I actually enjoyed it because it kind of went full Phil Hilt. And and it, this, you know, without being spoilery, it, it's very, um, it, it's very, it's very psycho meets haunting a hill house with a, with a sprinkling of The Shining. And, uh, and it has, wow. it, 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 that's what and, I said. Wow. I and, like, uh, <laughs> because I, I think, I think this is one of the few times where I really love the, the, the supernatural aspects that are shown in the movie. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think, and I, I maybe jumped twice and I was definitely creeped out and I'm, I'm kind of creeped out by hotels in general. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, you know, as someone who dealt with a very irate person on the phone recently, those two people that came in or, uh, Oh my gosh. Yes. I, I felt oh, for that. her having to sort of be, yeah. try to be professional and deal with that. Yeah. And I, I think she, she's definitely the, the strong point. I think she shows so much flexibility throughout this mm -hmm. whole film. And, and I will say, I think even though I, 
you know, it 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 hits the 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 twist very quickly towards the end. Um, I kind of loved it when it just went full out, and then it almost made me think, man, I would love to see. <laughs> the sequel to this mm. because 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 then it because then you get because i think i think this movie does a great job of of combining the scary and creepy stuff along with the sense of humor as well at times um and i think i think that the little thing at the end which could turn this to a franchise that they went that direction would be very interesting and i and and i won't i won't say what i would compare it to but it, it I, I would love to see where it goes from there because I think because I think it goes into this sort of really interesting uh area, but I won't say because it, it'll it'll reveal the twist. But anyway, I I really enjoy, I enjoyed this much more than what I expected. I think from the trailer, I didn't know what to expect, but I was really <clears> impressed <throat> by the visuals, the cinematography. I was impressed by the acting, and and uh, you know if I gave it a fault, I guess it's very simplistic story, but I I think it it worked for what it was doing, you know, granted that it still has times where I was like, what are you doing? Why, are you, <laughs> why are you doing that? <laughs> Cause then it's like, you deserve what just happened to you. Um, but overall, I really, I really, I really enjoyed the night shift, even though it did not star Michael Keaton or. Winkler, really. huh? Winkler, no, yeah. 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 All right. I, I'm kind of the opposite of what Crystal was thinking, but still in her same camp. Hmm. It's for me. I okay. So I had a great. I enjoyed it. In the end, I had a great time with it, and I, uh, I, I felt that as, as a uh, film and whole, it's a really uh, solid piece of work. But I was finding the second act up until the twist a little bit strenuous and monotonous. I was starting to get tired of it. Um, uh, but then once the twist happens. I was totally in. I was on board 110% and loved it. And and then the code, which is the opposite of Crystal, right? Because Crystal didn't like that. She liked the other half. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the first half. I liked the other half. So we'll just shove those two thoughts together. But anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, again, like everybody else, the cinematography, I would even say the direction that is really strong. Uh, it, I, but the actors are what, for me, did it. I thought Phoebe did oh, a yeah. fantastic job. So we all agree really, that the actors. Yeah. Are and Madison oh, yeah. Hughes as as the uh, as the the one guest right. that is actually staying at the hotel all night at least um is <laughs> is wonderful and brings a real She's interesting totally element. believable it's yeah amazing. like um quality yeah and then uh, all the little supporting characters that come in and out of the story all had really great input um and especially the the mystery character that shows up toward the end um but i the one thing it didn't really sell me, and and this is kind of the opposite of what Christopher was saying, were the actual spirits. I, I felt they were oh, a little. Yeah. I, I mean, I they, they work, but then they they kind of they didn't they didn't bring anything new. Let's put it that way. But in the end, maybe they didn't have to. So we'll talk about that here in a second. So that's our first impressions. Let's dive into a discussion. From here on in, we may have spoilers. Or let's yeah. put it, we will have spoilers. Because we have yeah. to talk about a little twist at some point. Um, but let's, talk, let's start off with the ghost. Uh, for me, they didn't necessarily work. You. Christopher, you well, said they did work for you, right? Look, see, honestly, I feel like they didn't look scary at all. Like, and they were just, it looked uh, like a person totally in makeup part. just sitting there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I thought I, like, okay. I thought the makeup and stuff worked really well. I mean, granted, it, it looked very yeah, sure hill, haunting a hill house, I guess, ghost wise. See, I love haunting a hill house, and I think yes. that is petrifying and scary. I don't think that this was. That. I thought it was. I mean, I was moving. I was watching on my laptop, and I was moving away from my laptop. Oh, they creeped me out because that that there's a scene that where she's coming out of the the um the pool. Yes. Or, and then she comes into that office. I thought it was, I, to me, that's one of the more effective horror scenes I've seen in a while. Oh, wow. Um, so mm -hmm. I totally yeah. disagree. And again, you know, I know this all subjective, horror is subjective in general, mm -hmm. but I, that's what's kind of surprised me because I didn't expect a lot from this film. Mm -hmm. And it took me, and, and, and granted, like I said, it's very simplistic. And I will mm -hmm. say, yeah, it's kind of repetitive because there's all these creepy stuff that keeps happening. And she screams and gets upset and then she calms down. And, it's <laughs> and I can understand that part of it. But I I kind of enjoyed that because it, it there was such an, a weird atmosphere to this. 
that you're trying to figure it out. And then, you know, what exactly is happening? And then there's, they do try to throw a lot of things Red to throw you off, mm -hmm. you know, like, like, when the girls, like when the girls like opens a door and you see your hand all bloody and you're like, what? And then what? You find out it's not that. So th th they do a little a great job of sort of like throwing you off, like the creepy guy in the car, you know? Yes, they did. Indeed. So I, I think they, they do a pretty good job of actually trying to keep you guessing as to what's going to happen. Cause even I was thinking like, okay, well, I, I know we're, we're, I guess we're in spoiler. But I kept thinking, well, maybe it's one of those films where this psycho killer is coming after and the ghosts are going to save her. You know what I mean? The ghosts mm -hmm. are just creepy because they're <laughs> just creepy because they were killed there or something, but they're, they're going to save her, you know, or, and then, then, then when the couple's <laughs> having sex in the room, I thought, oh, God, they're, they're going to kill the couple, you know? Yeah, there, there's your there's, shining thing, right? There's yeah, so I kept thinking all these different things in my mind as a filmmaker and a story. like, oh, wait, and then it happened. Oh, wait a minute. So I, I kept like, I think that was kind of, for me, that was the fun game of trying to fit, you know? And then you get a moment where they have that big reveal and you're like, ah. Oh. But then it's like, then it goes... And it keeps going. There you go. There's a like commitment to it as like, I love this part of it. Yeah. Where it's like, I just I want to see more of that, you know, because it grant granted, it, it is it is a tried and true thing that's been done so many times in movies where uh what's the unreliable narrator type thing. Yes, mm -hmm. and you know how much mm -hmm. I hate that. I know, I know, and I, I was it. thinking, I was thinking of Chris. I was like, I I don't I'm thinking that she's not gonna like this movie because of that. Part that is of it. that's part of it. You know how I am. I mean, I can handle it, but I also am like, damn girl, you crazy as hell. If this is <laughs> well, what it's like, well, that's I know, what I'm I love about it. She was yeah. full on. You know, we're crazy. already She's full on crazy by the end of it. Yeah. I, was, yes. I love that. This I is like one of those everything. things where she's now, like, yeah. at the very end, I, I loved that. I love yeah, the idea all, of that. And I, all the pink flamingos and everything. Yes. And I kind of agree with Christopher <laughs> that I'd love to see this whole idea of this perfection. She feels like she, it seems like she does have this sort of weird obsession with perfection with this motel because it's a motel, right? Since it's outdoor. Yeah. But yeah. like. That could be interesting, but I, but I, my brain gets too far into this. Cause I'm like, okay, so no one is looking for the doctor and the orderlies I, that work there. No one's too, looking yeah. for the owner of the hotel. No one's looking for this girl that's gone missing. I'm like, mm. I can't let my head. Yeah. It's a little, it little stretch, right? Somebody did, will show up, but it did feel like <laughs> this feels like a new spin on psycho and the Bates motel okay. thing by the yeah. end. And I love that kind of, interesting female sort of spin on that you know mm -hmm. i also I like that out Al, i like that mass and hughes character alice fed into the ghost story part because she was a oh i know he and was see, a ghost hunter was, and that yeah. really fed it right that was pretty close place and i'm like so you it makes you buy the whole haunted right. hotel as right. opposed to just her being schizophrenic Right. Like, did you see something? Did you see something? Because she wanted to. Actually, something. she would definitely be paranoid schizophrenic for yeah. she. Yeah, she's got yeah. a bit going on there. And then, but, of yeah. course, the uh, the reveal of the rat was fun, too. That was a good moment. And what was the thing that kept popping off the wall? The bear! The bear yeah. head! Yogi. Yogi. What was the name? Yogi! Yogi! Yogi, Yogi. Yogi. I was like, the bear. Name. But, but <laughs> I didn't have a problem with the... I usually don't like Unrelated Luck unreliable narrator but the reason i don't like it is when you get to the end of the movie and you don't know you don't know what they know mm -hmm. but yeah, this i one, think we do you know. know yeah <laughs> you know and and i thought they did a really good job there was a point going on where it crossed my mind um the the twist crossed my mind but it went away other stuff happens i don't know if it was when uh the, the the weird guy shows up that's been driving by in the car or what what it was but it it right. it well, left were... my mind and so when it happened because I remember thinking you know we had this short little TV report oh that I know don't, that talks we about don't hear her. the whole thing of it mm -hmm. I remember thinking yeah they yep, didn't yep. say if it was who it this was or that or... you know mm -hmm. so anyway yeah and I and when the uh, the mysterious stranger wait let's try not to reveal the whole thing but when he was spilling information i was wondering who was shitting who right i was wondering mm -hmm. like okay i'm not sure i know which one of these two people to buy what's going on when of course we get the reveal so that fairly guy, soon after that but i thought that was great the actor has played super creepy characters 
I've seen that dude and other stuff and he plays super creepy, usually bad characters. So I just, just I was like, well, and that's, that's sure. Christopher, Christopher Denham. Christopher yeah. Denham. Yeah. yeah. Walton Gray. Walton Gray, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's how you keep people on their toes is you get people to where you, you kind of question it or you think, okay, well, she's got to be, <laughs> she's got to be the sane one in this <laughs> situation. Yeah. yeah. Cause you want her to be sane. you, they build the whole first half of the movie. You following her and liking her and wanting her to survive you feel the trauma but then whoops so i do like that they did give you a clue with the names being an anagram that i was, am not I good with that, that kind I of didn't stuff catch it. i am yeah. not good with that kind of stuff i didn't like picture but i bet you someone probably someone out there probably got it immediately yeah and when they heard yeah. both the names mm -hmm. yep not me because that's that's fun you know that's something yeah no i, I thought it was good i i like the but the way Alice was introduced gave you the creeps, but then there was an explanation for it. It made perfect sense once you knew what the, what the heck was going on. And, uh, um, I it just, and then the car going by and the, ugh. the yeah. couple, I mean, there's like so many different elements they throw into there to where you, you end up, you end up questioning anything that pops up in that, that little yeah. area. Yeah, You see the, you see the little girl go into the lobby you know, there's a couple of scenes like that where um, they're anyway. walking around outside. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Let's give our score a one to five and we can pick a favorite scene. Oh, boy. Jeff, start us off. Well, this is I'm a little, a little bit torn. I'm going to go 3.75. Very good. And I'm going to I'm I'm taking it. Sorry, Christopher. Uh, I'm, I'm taking the uh, the swimming pool sinkhole. Oh, nice scene when they uh, something comes out of the sinkhole, which you knew was going to happen, but it was still good. I was waiting for something to come in or come out of that sinkhole. That's uh, for sure. Yep. Uh, Very good, good pick. Crystal, you're up next. What are your uh, what's your score one to five, and what's your favorite scene? Okay, just because I don't like the ending and stuff and the reveal doesn't mean that I don't think it's a quality film i'm gonna give it a three um and my god i can't believe i'm gonna say this is my favorite scene but it made me la actually laugh it's when he <laughs> i don't know why it's stupid y'all when he's giving her the money for the the food the i'm not gonna say it yeah because you know it's a cuss word fo 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 yeah you know? and mm -hmm. then he's like you're not gonna eat that much <laughs> <laughs> he was like it's like i'll pay for it i'll pay for it because of rats and all this stuff and i'm sorry i know it's simple but that made me laugh he's like cheap <laughs> as hell you know that was funny she's cute i like the characters i do think the the dialogue was good too. yeah it wasn't mm -hmm. it wasn't overly dialogue mm -hmm. you know the dialogue wasn't i can see someone saying that yeah. for real yeah. like i can be like you're not mm -hmm. gonna you're not gonna eat that much food I'm literally going to pay you to the penny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Christopher, what's uh, what is your score? One to five and your favorite scene. I'm going to give it four out of five. I really wow, enjoyed it. Nice. I, I think it's a well-crafted film that, you know, story-wise, yeah, it might be lacking a little bit, but I think it's got some really atmospheric, atmospheric intense scenes, you know, because mm -hmm. there's a the scene where they're trapped in the thing. And, and that one area, which, you know, it's like, you have to use a broom to keep this open. You know, that's going to close at some point. Oh, yeah, but, you knew that was going to happen. But uh, yep. I'll say my favorite scene is just how is another tense scene, but it's just how it's framed. And then that's when the girl is trying to escape in the car. And that girl is running with the act. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, that was I just, good. That was well done, I, I mean, yeah. it's so well. And it's all done like one shot. And I was like, the way that's framed and stuff, I was like, oh, get that sucker started, girl. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I I I thought there's like so many moments where I was like very tense, you know, and other moments like, why, why are you holding on to the thing near a sinkhole in the pool? You idiot. I know. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's got a lot of tense moments that are well choreographed. And the the directors, the China brothers, I think they've got a good career in horror. They need to make more films because they have a really vis great visual flair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do think there's big things coming. I agree from with them. that. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I was given this three point uh, three point five, but I'm tempted to go three point seven five. So we'll call it three point five with a bullet. Yay! Um, <laughs> uh, I uh, 
I, you know, I'm going to go the, when Walter Walton Gray um, comes into the office. Uh, but that's and, not his name. Yes, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> what the whole thing is Phoebe, or not Phoebe, but Gwen, her character's reaction to it. You know, just how she played that role so well yeah. right then because she was totally, she was hanging in there and doing mm -hmm. the job, but she was, you know, like tense and, and afraid and it, and it all worked and it just made that scene really kind of like, Oh, what's going to happen. And then, you know, she was good. and when he goes, you know, aren't you going to show me to my, to the room, <laughs> you know, and you knew it was like, Oh, creep. Yeah. This guy's, Oh no, she's in danger. So at that point I was like, totally, I was totally on the wrong end of the show. I was like, Oh no, and it, and it, was, it was a different story. Um, so it got me, it got me good. Um, so that's going to be my favorite thing. If not that, maybe it, involves, maybe it involves a ton, that. but we'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Squish. Uh, all right. There you go. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, of course. Yes. Oh, that was stupid. All right. No. Uh, that's, <laughs> but in a great way. Uh, yeah. That's a review of Night Shift uh, yes. out and about on uh, March 8th. And uh, when you check it out, please let us know in the comments down below what you yeah. thought of it. I'd love to hear yes. your thoughts. And I think it gets a, a a strong recommendation from us, right? I I think everyone should see it. I mean, yeah. I think a lot of people are going to like it. I think regardless I, of my feelings yeah. on yeah. some of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even Solid. if I'm, you still liked it, even with those. I things. still liked it. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. just like, I, I think my expectations might have been too high. No, too. but I definitely want to see what the China brothers do, and I want to see what yeah. Phoebe Tonkin does. Oh yeah, um, for sure. She's so yeah. awesome, y'all. Yep. If you like, if you like her, you should. She's so beautiful too. Yeah, like, add time. her to my list. Nah, I was <laughs> I was waiting for that. Oh, wait, no, twenty seven minutes. My crush <laughs> list. I agree. I'm I sh mine too. She's beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, well, uh, Crystal, Crystal, Jeff, thank you for joining me. It was a lot of fun as always. You're welcome. Yes. It was fun. Always mm -hmm. fun. Totally. And always. Totally. Totally. All right. With that, let's say good night. Good night. Good night. Gruesome Magazine.